Okay, we're going to try to solve this system of equations using Symbolab. Uh, for that, we're going to ask Symbolab to reduce the matrix for us. So we're going to use um, a, a command called RREF, which stands for Reduced Row Echelon Form. Uh, and then we need to give it the matrix we want it to reduce. And so to do that, we can click on the little matrix tab here and tell it the size of the matrix we need. If the size you need isn't listed, you can click this button to make a different size. But we had a three by three system, three variables, three equations, which will be augmented to become three by four. So we can just click the three by four button here to get our the matrix that we need. All right, so now we need to enter the matrix. Um, so in our top row here, remember we, we use the coefficients. So I got two, three, negative four, negative five. So that's two, uh, three, negative four, negative five. By the way, you can jump from one entry to the next by clicking the tab button instead of clicking with the mouse. Sometimes makes it easier. In our second row here, we've got 3x minus z. Notice there's no y here, so we have zero y's. So we're going to want to make sure to put a zero in the y spot. So we got 3, 0, negative 1, 7. Okay, so we got 3, 0, negative 1, 7. And then in our third row, we've got 1x, negative 1y, 1z equaling 6. So we got 1, negative 1, so we got 1 negative one, oops, one and six, and my negative went in the wrong spot there. So let's fix that. There we are, and let's double check. Oh, that should have been a six. Let's double check that that looks right. Yeah, looks good. All right, so now we can just hit go. And uh, it recognized that as us wanting to reduce the matrix to reduced row echelon form. And there it is right there. Um, now, if you remember, the way that we read off that solution is, again, the first column represents x's, then y's, then z's. So this top row, we would read it as 1x equaling 3, or in other words, x equals 3. The second row, we'd have 1y equaling negative 1. So we'd have y equaling negative 1. And in the bottom row, we have 1z equaling 2. So z equals 2. And there's the solution to our system.